I'm in my second semester of sophomore year now, just about two months left. You do know that specifying that you're in your second semester doesn't necessarily make you any less of a sophomore, right? we leave off. High school is a movie. Nah, for real. A movie. Like, so is my life. I used to watch movies till my life became one. Shut up! Shut, shut up! up. Oh, shut, up. shut up, kid. Jesus. Now, I've talked about school like four different times previously, but now that my audience is like five times the size, I can do it again, but a different side. I live in a small town in the south. It's like half ghetto, half redneck. Nobody allowed out past eight type of ghetto. This town is super sus. It's the opposite of anywhere I've lived before, as a city away from Miami Beach, Florida. I grew up there until age 10 and then moved here. It's like going from every culture combined to just the same shit. I don't know. Anyways, it seems once everyone reaches high school, you send to a new level of being. Literally. In November, I had the Thanksgiving thing in my first period class where everyone brings food and, uh... Well, the Black Einstein brought fucking edibles. A nice pack of brownies for the class, man. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Here's your jump start at 8 in the morning. So I'd spend the next four hours high as hell and then whizzed out in second period PE. Marketing class hit different, I tell you that. Months later, they never got caught. Nobody snitched, nor was it quite obvious what they did. My school feels like a mix of Willy Wonka's factory and CS's own dust, too. Back in October, there was this freshman girl who literally always hit on me, and just about every other guy who was older, and apparently she had at least 15 bodies. The strangest part was that she wasn't even hot. Anyways, flash forward to December and she got suspended. Yeah, suspended. Not expelled for having a threesome in the janitor's closet with two sophomores. Two weeks later, she was back in school, and no one bats an eye like that's normal. That's, uh, that's normal? Um, since when? Freshman year, early on, three months in November 2018. Early in the morning, there was a sense of fatigue that everyone had. A student or two had left school early, and they said they were feeling ill. Myself, swear to God, I thought we were being gassed on the low. Well, we were being gassed on the low. Turns out there was a gas attack in the building where the pipes were and they broke or some shit. On some nuclear warfare shit, the whole campus was evacuated and we all went to the gym building just across from the main school. During the school evacuation, one of my friend's legs were injured, so I helped carry her out of the school while almost passing out from inhaling the gas. She didn't have a leg injury from the, from the gas stuff, I just, it was like, I don't know, some bullshit from before. Anyways, during the school evacuation, uh, basically, we just all gathered into the gym for a couple of hours, and students were leaving one by one. Once we all got home, we all had some symptoms of inhaling the chemicals. There was a few students passed out, but a majority of just had like a small cough and like a feeling of nausea. We figured school would be cancelled for a few days due to the pipes, but uh, nah. Instead, it was cancelled for one inch of snow. Or, so they speak. I'm on to you. Hi again, it's me, Wolf Aside, but with a successful music career. Jokes aside, I'm sore. I do music stuff. I've been here before for that Jason Aphex video where I single-handedly gave our homie Wolf Slide 14,000 views, and now I've been asked back here to talk about some of the absolute nonsense that ensued at my high school. Now, before I start my story, I'd like to preface this by saying that I went to a private school, and that may not make much of a difference to the majority of you, but it's worth noting because, in my personal experience, shit goes way harder at private schools. The only reason I can ascertain for that being the case is that the kids that get enrolled in these private schools have parents with more money than their wallets can fit and not enough things to spend it on. So whenever little Timmy gets busted for dealing drugs, his parents can bail him out either by bribing the teachers or just enrolling him at a different private school. Because the majority of these institutions, whether you like it or not in my experience, tend to care more about funding than they do education. Case in point being an incident that happened at the high school that I went to. The school had a boarding house attached to it so that any students that lived too far away to commute every single day could just live there for the week and then go back on weekends or even only on holidays if that's what worked better for them. It was part of the boarding house policy 
policy to allow kids that were in the boarding house to go home with their friends for the weekend if they couldn't make it to their parents' place, which is actually pretty cool because then they wouldn't have to sit in the boarding house by themselves for the weekend. This of course became a problem because these kids would often have access to things that were on school grounds before they went home with their friends for the weekend. Now something else that I should mention is that nearby the school that I was at, we had a bunch of housing estates that were centered around golf. These estates were pretty much reserved for people who could actually afford to live there and were extremely secure. There was 24 seven security, big walls around the entire property, everything. It would be like a giant plot of land with a bunch of houses on it that was completely blocked off with walls around the entire complex. And then littered throughout the little mini developments inside this ginormous property, there were just golf courses interrupted with the occasional lake or scenic thing. And something that you'd obviously expect to see on a golf course is a golf cart. I mean, how else are you going to get around the golf course? Walk? Fuck that. You're rich. You don't need a walk. You pay people to walk for you. The golf carts are made available to the residents of the estate and anybody who is visiting the golf courses during the day. And at night, all the golf carts would be rounded up, put in a corral, and chained up with a little padlock. So, where this becomes problematic is what happened one time, when there was a party happening at one of these estates, and a few kids from the boarding house got permission to leave for the weekend. Nearby the boarding house was a tool shed which had a bunch of supplies that the groundskeepers could use to maintain the entire property, making sure that the school looked nice to any visitors who were thinking about sending their kids there. And one of the many tools that they had in there was a set of bolt cutters. If you can't see where this is going, I don't know how to draw you a clearer picture, but basically the kids from the boarding house that were going to this party at this estate on the weekend stole the bolt cutters, went to this party, got completely shit-faced, went to the golf cart corral, cut the chain, hijacked one of the golf carts, and crashed it into a lake that was on the golf course. So for those of you who have been keeping score, we've got theft, underage drinking, grand theft golf cart, and destruction of private property. So of course you'd think after an incident like that, with all of those potential charges laid against the students involved, they would have all been expelled at least, and then made to pay a bunch of fines and damages. But of course if that was actually the outcome I wouldn't be telling you the story because that just wouldn't be interesting. The very expensive lawyers that their parents hired to defend their delinquent children convinced the judge at the disciplinary hearing to only charge the kids for borrowing the bolt cutters without permission. Not stealing the bolt cutters, borrowing them without permission. And that was it. They got a slap on the wrist and went back to school as if nothing happened. It seems if you've got enough money, you can get away with anything these days. Anyway, back to you, Wolf City. You know, you think it's a little bit of a fluke when high school is supposed to be that place you learn in, where you have, like, you know, you got all the shitty stereotypes in movies and stuff. I mean, Heather is portrayed it to be demonic, but... I mean, it is demonic, but... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Call me, call 911, she just got a chance Like the bands, blow up with some bands Like the rubber band Triple eight on my neck, how I do it Slice the fucking check, scare one bitch And look a pass, smack a bitch and make a bang I'm a pull with the five bitches, acting cute Why the fuck you got a lot, smack them down to the ground